Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, if you're watching this and like me, you love research and like me, you love generating impact from your research, you probably, like me, don't really like the admin side of your job. Uh, and for me, certainly, this cause is a lot of tension and it's getting worse and worse as we are increasingly asked to fill in more and more different forms on different websites about our students, our research and no, most recently, uh, our impact. If we are serious about achieving impacts, then we need to be serious about tracking whether or not we are moving towards or away from the impacts we want to see from our research. But if you're like me, then you're more motivated by achieving impacts than you are from uh, monitoring them. When eventually I am required by my university to enter my impacts online on the university system, I don't want to have to be scrabbling through my memory and my emails to try and piece together what happened over the last year or two, knowing that somewhere some, some person talked to me about a project and told me about a cool thing they were going to do with my research and I can't quite remember who it was or when it was or that report that mentioned my work and I didn't quite take a note of it and it's somewhere on my hard drive but I've got no idea where. Uh, and it's a problem. That's why I now use Evernote to quickly and easily capture impacts on the go and to enable my research teams to collate impacts in one shared place, no matter what institution they're from, where they are in the world, even if they're offline. And it is remarkably easy. Just click on the link on the Fast Track Impact website to register for Evernote Plus and download the app to your devices, or you can use the web version if you want. You can try the app for free, but to get the functionality you need to track impacts with your team, you will need to upgrade to a Plus account. Your team members can use the free version, and because Evernote give Fast Track Impact a commission for every person who signs up via our website, we're able to give you that back as far as possible through a discount on my Research Impact Handbook. Once you're in, now you need to set up a notebook. You can call it anything you want. I'm going to call this one Impact, and I'm making sure it is my default notebook. Now you can add anything you want to that notebook. I've installed Web Evernote Web Clipper into my web browser, so I can now save websites for posterity, so that I've got them to keep, even if the website no longer exists, when I actually want to use it at a later date to evidence my impact. Uh, I can drag documents in, I can put in video, I can record sound directly in it, uh, or I can uh, drop that in as well. I can write notes directly into the app from my computer, from my smartphone, or from my tablet. One of the things that makes a tracking impact so hard for me as someone leading research projects is that only people from my own university are able to imp enter impacts into my own university's impact monitoring system online. But with Evernote, I can give my team my unique Evernote email address and they can send material into my impact notebook. Anything they send will automatically be turned into a note and stored in that default notebook. And that's it. It really is that simple. It's all in one place that I can then share with my team or with my university administrator so they can see everything that's being collated at any point, all in that one place. Easy. Now, there are a few extra things that you can do if you want. So stop here if you want to keep things simple. But if you stay, I'll tell you a few other things that you can do with this. First, I'll show you how you can share your impact notebook with your team. Just go to the notebook you want to share and hit the forward icon on the notebook uh, to enter their email addresses. If you want material to go into a different notebook, not your default notebook, I've got a few, so you may want to do that. Then just make sure that you write the name of the notebook in the email subject line with the at sign in front of it. So in this case, I set up a new notebook for one of my projects called VNP Pete. Uh, I want impacts from this project and my team members to go into my VNP Pete notebook. So the emails have at VNP Pete in the subject line. And to make it really easy for my team, I've added a link to my project website that when you click on it, just brings up an email automatically with the right subject line that goes to the right email address. So you just click on the button, write the stuff that's been going on, a few thoughts, uh, you need to talk to this person because they're interested in using our research. Here is a picture from the day, here are some recordings that I made, great. And it is all there, simple, in that one place where I can access and anyone else can access when they need it. 
Alternatively, I can ask people to use tags that I can then easily sort through later on. So in my default impact notebook, now I've got a whole load of different projects in here and I've sorted them uh, by tagging them with a different name. Uh, I can add them in Evernote like this, or to add a tag to the note via email, I just add the hashtag with the name of the tag into the email subject line uh, with this. So hashtag, the name of the tag, away you go. And Evernote can do lots of other cool things as well, like telling you where in the world your notes are being made, which can be really handy if you want to find your field site notes. Uh, or that stuff that I wrote in that meeting in Belgium, I can't quite remember what it was, but it was important and it was in Belgium. Cool, there we go. Uh, and of course, Evernote is one of the leading productivity apps. So it's always up to date with your latest operating system, your notes sync across all your devices, and you've got loads of other features that help you to stay organized and productive whatever you're doing. Evernote's got a really responsive technical support team and I can help you if you've got any problems working out how to use it with your team to track your impacts. Just drop me a line, get in touch if you've got any problems uh, and make sure that you sign up via the link on the Fast Track Impact website if you want to get your book discount voucher. Thanks for watching this all to the end and enjoy tracking your impacts the easy way.